Fluorescent Lamp Wiring with Ballast and Starter A basic household electrical circuit series. We will wire now a fluorescent lamp using an electronic ballast. For that we will require a switch, an electronic ballast, and a fluorescent tube lamp. First, we will connect the neutral line to the electronics ballast. Then for the live or phase line to the switch and out to your household electrical system. We will connect then one end of the tube lamp to the ballast. The other end of the tube lamp, we will also connect both to the ballast designated connection. The electronic ballast is considered newer, and it works without a starter device. It also comes with models that can support multiple lamps. Now, we will see how to wire fluorescent lamp using a magnetic ballast with a single lamp. We require an electrical switch, then a magnetic or electrical ballast, a fluorescent tube lamp, and a starter device. From the phase or live line, we will it to the switch, then to one terminal of the ballast, the other ballast terminal. We will connect it to one end of lamp with its one pin. On the other end, one of its pin, we will connect to the neutral line. The remaining pins from each end, we will connect to starter. It should be noted that the lamp wattage usually printed on the lamp tube should not exceed the ballast wattage rating, which is indicated on the ballast markings. Now, we will see how to wire fluorescent lamp using a magnetic ballast with a multiple lamps. We require an electrical switch, then a magnetic or electrical ballast, two fluorescent tube lamps, and two starter device. From the phase or live line, we will connect it to the switch, then to one terminal of the ballast, the other ballast terminal. We will connect it to one end of lamp with its one pin. On the other end, one of its pin, we will connect it to one of the second lamp. We will connect the second lamp's other end to the neutral line. The remaining pins from each end, we will connect a starter for each lamp as indicated in the diagram. It should be noted that the lamp total wattage usually printed on the lamp tube should not exceed the ballast wattage rating, which is indicated on the ballast markings. Thank you, my friend.